officers come stop me, your whole style sloppy. If there's one person that can't talk about a sloppy style, it's RTV. I've had enough of these games, yeah! You and Yay guys, welcome back to another video. Normally we don't do sit down videos like this reacting to stuff, but this one, it had to be done. As you guys know or don't know, we were in a prank war and still kind of are in a prank war with our friend Rohan TV. This guy right here, this man, the Hutter himself. The Hutter himself. The Hut Man. The Hut Man, the Choker. And if you guys did not know, me and Ricky decided to drop a diss track on him. You guys absolutely loved it. Already got a million views, and then Rohan saw it. He reacted to it. Got me once and he got Rick twice, so I'm done playing. That whole verse right there. Amazing. Can't hate on anything that was said there. Can't defend myself, really, anything that was said there. And he decided to fire back with his own diss track called Smoke. Me and Ricky have both already seen it, but today we're going to be breaking it down, giving our thoughts and opinions, because there's some good stuff in it, some not so good stuff, and then just some stuff I don't, I don't even know. But before we get into the reaction, we just want to say there is no beef between us and our TV. Even though it may seem that way, we are still best of buds. We're going to be filming a bunch of bangers together in 2019, I'm sure. This beef is just all fun and games. Started from the prank war. No hate. It's Escalated to the diss tracks, and that's what it's come to now. We're... Let's just see what smoke is all about, man. Uh, there's so much hype around it. Uh, actually, very little hype compared to Hot Air, but... Oh! Let's go. Oh! Oh, I see it. Click play. Click play. Okay. Should I click it? On your turf, ready, shoot you like a snurf. Boy, you looking like a smurf with that goofy looking smirk. Right off the bat, RTV showing major steps above what he did in the past, you know, especially for his first song, The Flow. Um, uh, not bad, that's not bad. I, I kind of, kind of a fan, low key. So, and the smurf dude, uh, it's true. Man. I look like that picture, it's true. Fact right there, but he always making that weird. I do be looking that smirk, I'd be like, you know, I'm just happy all the time, so I'd just be trying to smile, man, trying to hate on it. Go ahead. You can both get the work. Boy, I hit. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the top of his head. <laughs> I hit hard like Creed, so you drop to your knees. You know I got the keys. He, he says he has the keys, but, but do you really, dude? If you think about it, your dad actually had the keys, and he gave them to me. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Enough of all that, go and tip for the Let's with the pranks. I have the actual keys right here. These are the keys. Don't be lying like that, man. You will get caught. Finger on the trigger, but the ammo looking dry. Nicky Smalls, but that neck looks six foot five. Okay, I'll admit it, the bud got me there. Rohan is definitely a little bit bigger than me. He's been pumping iron in the gym every single day, and I've been slacking off, but keep in mind, Rohan is almost 20 years old. I'm only 16. Take a look when Rohan was closer to my age and then look at me this past summer. So, not not too bad in my opinion, but like you I got, said- You got like three years to catch up to the bike. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm get back on my- yeah, You're ahead I'm, of the game already. I, I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a pass him up soon. And about the neck, that is also a true fact. My neck, I mean, take a look guys. I mean, I don't think it looked too big, but you know, once you- It, it has out, grown, like people neck this man so much that it's grown, like Rohan said, it has adapted. It's adapted to, uh, cause fans, they just come up to us and they just yeet, 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 yeet the neck, so. It's like the spikes on a porcupine, it's form of protection. It might look a little funky, but it gets the job done. And one more thing about the neck. If my neck, like he said, is 6'5", you know, I'll admit it, okay? It's a little bigger than normal, I, I suppose. If my neck is 6'5", then take a look at this picture. This means Ricky's neck has to be at least seven foot. I mean, look at that. My neck don't look too big, and then you see Ricky's, and it's just like, oh my goodness. And then you go over to Rohan's, and oh my goodness. Looks like a bronchiosaurus. I mean, look at this. I, I, if, if yours is 6'5", there, his has gotta be 13. At least 13. And zoom in on the face. Goofy looking smirk, dude. Boy, you looking like a smurf with that goofy looking smirk. Come on. Born in Ohio, the 513. I see you guard the paint, but I'll pull up from three. Dude, watch out when RTV pulls up from three.
Looks like Steph Curry from the three-point line. You gotta watch out, man. He might make one. You never know. One hit Rick listening, don't you dare look away. Say you want a box, but you can't take a shot. Wearing boxers, come stop me, your whole style sloppy. If there's one person that can't talk about a sloppy style, it's RTV. This man literally walks around with underwear. Sometimes the underwear's got holes in it. And then he wears flip-flops and mismatched socks. And that's one of the most sloppy styles you can get. All you, all you really need is like a giant oversized piece of poop for your jacket. That's all that I could add to it. You can't do a thing, get left in a sling. The merch caught on fire right there. It was holding in the flames. It just burst into flames. You know, we do say the merch is the hottest, most quality in the game. Merch link in bio. That, right, but. I have had reports of that happening. Like people DM me say, yo, my merch caught on fire, burned up. RTV caught on camera, dude. That, we've never caught on camera ourselves. That's just a side effect of having the hottest merch in the game. Don't worry though, Rohan, we'll send you another one, but I know you're probably a little sad, the merch, you don't have any more, but we got you, man. We'll send you another one. It's all gonna be okay. Yeah. Yeah. So right here, this is Natsu. This is uh, someone that no one knows right now, but he's featured on the song. A lot of the comments were saying, Natsu ruined the song, but a lot more were saying, Without Natsu, the diss track would have been a flop or a little bit of an L. And I, and I tend to lead towards the latter. Natsu came in here with some flow. Like, you can tell he knows what he's doing and he's done this before, so. Let's see, let's see this bug go to work. RTV, my boy go hard, IBP ain't got no bars. Varsity, we look like stars, I play my hand, I see your cars. Bluff and pull up, get you jump. Like, boom, right there, you can tell this man knows what he's doing. Like, for sure. Shout out Natsu, because, personally, I think he saved the song. The flow is just on point, but some of the things he says, I, I just, I just don't get it. You ain't nothing, look at us. Just, just the music dropping, you should stop it. Stick to vlogging, you ain't popping. You ain't popping, you ain't popping. You ain't popping. Pop On the court, you know I splash up on it. Ooh, look at the wrist. Nick's pick, take a pick at his. Uh. Not sure what that line means. Um. Might be a compliment to the photography scores of Nick's picks. It might be, but uh, I think I'll pass though, bud. Zoom in around his face right there too. Ooh. Why you looking so cheese? Ooh. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, send you into space, pick your girl up in my rover. Boy, your luck is over, you gon' really need that clover. Dude, he picked your girl up in his rover, buddy. He, he got you there, he got you there. I don't have a girl though. And I don't think he has a rover. Is he talking about your girl? Dude, I don't have a girl either. And if he doesn't have a rover, dude, he's going after Rohan TV's girl behind his back within his own diss track. No. That's the only thing that makes sense because we both don't have girls and he doesn't have a rover. So this line is no a way. complete I lie. I don't think Rohan has a girl either. So this line's a, a complete lie. Like nothing true about this one. Picked up the girl I don't have in the rover he doesn't have. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Got us there. We're up in this chase, man, it's over, I'm sorry. You pranked me with my sister's car? What? Why? Right here, Rohan says the car that we used in the Hutter music video to prank him was his sister's car. But this man literally drove it to high school every single day for four years. And I actually saw him driving the car to the gym. To uh, the gym. Two days ago. After we already posted this track, so I don't know if he just trying to flex in his sister's car all the time, or he whipped that thing around because he thinks it is, I don't know. Pulled up in a Rari, you ain't got me, you can stop me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. First off, he, he was calling us out for pranking him with a car that wasn't his. He said it was his sister's car. So the next line he decides to pull up in a car that's not his, it's like, how are you gonna call us out for pranking you in a car that wasn't yours, and say so you pull up in a car that's not yours, it just, he had to flex, you know, like like most basic rappers do, flex with the fake car. You ain't got me, you can stop me. Called up Steezy, call him cheesy. He's so easy, cause he's sleazy. Leave me queasy, he's so freaky. Steezy's the one who let us in to spray paint Rohan's room, and he was staying over at Rohan's place for a couple of days, but I didn't know that he left Rohan queasy because of how freaky he was, but Rohan, if you, I don't know why you put it in the diss track, but that's you, that's you. You do you, man. Six foot one, 165. I run like a Prius, I hit like a truck. Hard like Malik and efficient as Oh, Ooh. man. 
it's okay, Rohan. Like, he looks so angry right there. Like his merch caught on fire. He, you hate to see it. You really do. You can just see the pain and anger in his scream. He's like, ah, my merch. No. Why is it so hot? Ah, I should have known. I should have listened to them when they said it was the hottest in the game merch. Make them buy them. But it's okay, you know. It's okay, man. We got you with a new one. Oh man, I hate to see that. All in all, what do you gotta say, man? Pretty solid for his first song. Definitely room for improvement, but definitely a solid start. I just gotta say, it all makes sense though now. The song's called Smoke, and the reason for that is I finally figured it out. When we released our track, Hutter, it was fire. It was just absolute fire. So the only thing left was the smoke. It was the aftermath. This was like kind of the remnants, the leftovers, if you will. So it makes sense. Like at first I didn't get it, but genius, genius. It all oh makes sense goodness. now. So now it comes down to it. Who do you think won the diss track battle, the prank war, whatever you want to call it? RTV already made a whole video called Who Won, but in his video he never directly says who he thinks won. Now I'm sure he probably is a little biased towards himself and he probably thinks he won and we're biased towards ourselves so we definitely think that we won. But luckily for us we don't have to call up our TV and ask his direct opinion because one of you guys did a little bit of investigative work, sent me over a screenshot from Mason Lamb's video of a text message between Mason and Rohan and in that screenshot you can see RTV says IBP's diss track was a typical YouTube diss track. So if he thinks that's what sets it apart is that his diss track was not basic and our diss track was basic, I gotta refute that because a diss track like ours has never been done. There was a prank within the music video. So you might like Rohan's song a little better or you might like our song a little better, but where it takes it to a whole nother level is that there was a prank within our music video and I think that just sets it to the whole next level. And we had a beat switch and we had a live show in the music video. There was nothing really basic about it. We had flow changes. We actually went fast. If you look at Rohan's rap, take out Natsu's, his flow is pretty much the same slow flow throughout the whole thing. No hate towards it, but it's just kind of basic. He pulls up in a rented Rari. Pretty, An pretty basic. You know, it's classic staple in the rap game. Flex with the stuff you don't got. Classic, classic. No hate. You can do whatever you want, but he threw in a couple cusses in there. No hate towards that, but that's a typical YouTube diss track. Oh, and uh, rap about taking my girl, but buddy, oh. none of us have girls. Come on. Pull up in a rover that you don't got. A lot of just like flexing with things that you don't own and saying some false stuff. So if there's one that's basic, I gotta say, it's RTVs. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction. Like we said, it's all love. We're still friends with Rohan. Rohan, if you're watching this, don't take it too seriously. This is all jokes, just like your videos. They're all jokes, we're still buds. And you guys can comment down below who you think won, but I don't want no hate down there, man. Just try to keep it positive. Unless Rohan does something else, this is, uh, could, could be the end of it. It could be. We absolutely love you guys. Thank you for watching. We truly appreciate it. Happy New Year! And until next time, you. I've had enough of these games, yeah, you in my lane, bro. Take yours like the bang goes, we are not the same, bro. One hit, gonna hit him with the KO. Say so, I'ma do it if I say so. Say no, but I don't really care what you say, bro.